Hello, picked up this Cambridge Audio CD player, a D300, um, and the issue is that the screen is not working at all, so there is no display coming um, on with the device. So, been looking at it and I'm going to take it apart and try and fix the issue. Um, when a CD's in, it does play, um, so you press the play button and eventually get sound, so there's nothing wrong with the disk drive. But just trying to sort out this screen issue. Okay, so undone the unit, um, and you just remove the um, two screws on the sides on each side, and then there's some at the back. Um, so six screws in total, and then inside looks quite nice. There's some Sony parts inside. Wasn't expecting that. Um, and then there is a little board at the front here, um, which contains the bulbs. So. Um, video went a bit wrong so what I've done is I've actually reassembled the device now so I was going to try and talk you through what I had to do to replace the bulbs so um, in order to get access to this circuit board here which has got the bulb circuit on um, I removed this board here which pops off using these little plastic clips here so you can unclip that there's a power connector and then there is a couple of cables here um, on the left hand side one for the disk drive one for the controls and then one for the actual laser and then as you can see down here you've got um, ribbon cables LCD LCD and controls which is for the buttons at the front so I had to remove this fully disconnect these cables and then undo there's about 10 screws as you can see here um, on this board here so screw there screw there after removing those screws this circuit board actually comes away um, and then inside what you'll find um, is a little um, circuit board on top of the um, screen LCD and actually it's backlit with um, a set of bulbs which I'll just show you shortly so that was the issue and I'll just show you what the bulbs look like so inside the um, the circuit board as I said are these little filament bulbs as you can see um, and I got a pack of these off eBay, and I'll put the link in the video description. Um, and inside the circuit board, I'll try and see if I can find a, a link as well to a picture. Um, there was three of these little bulbs on top um, that were all burnt out. They were black. Um, so I replaced these three um, with, with three brand new ones, just soldered them off and on again. And then um, reattached the circuit board and plugged it all back in again. Um, following the uh, instructions, obviously, of how I dismantled it, um, and it worked. So I'll just show you now with the um, with the screen actually working. So as you can see now, we have light behind the screen. So um, I thought the screen would be damaged, but actually, it's just that it is a, a backlit um, C screen powered by those three little small filament bulbs. So that was the repair. Um, sorry, I lost me dismantling it and putting the new bulbs in um but yeah there we go you can see the device working now um i haven't got any speakers plugged in um but yeah there we go so it was just three small filament bulbs and um, to fix the screen so yeah there we go happy days thank you very much for watching and i'll put a link into the bulbs uh, in the description